Okay, today let's talk about the Mark Audio MA200M. Uh, it's touted as a multi-use 8-inch driver. It's the largest driver that Mark Audio has ever made. Uh, prior to that, the biggest one they made was the probably the CHR120, which they state is a 6-inch driver. Right at 6, but most drivers are measured frame to frame, so I guess it could qualify as actually, let me get a better view here, as actually an eight inch driver. So uh, it can be named as both. Um, I'll make some comparisons once we do the unboxing here. This is the same driver we use, the CHR70. We use this in the Little Hero. Um, it can be said that it's a, I don't know, four and three quarter inch. They tout it as a three and a half. And, uh, Let's do the unboxing of the new Mark Audio M8200 multi-driver. Um, it's said to have an aluminum frame and a, um, a copper, midnight copper cone. So let's take a look at that. We just got these in, they're fairly new. Um, let's turn this around here. They're sold out in Japan, last I heard. This is the gasket that comes with it. In actuality, the gasket is, let me get this apart here. That narrow ring around the outside is the, actually the gasket. This is just a filler. So it comes with a cardboard plate to cover it. All Mark Audio drivers come with a nice clear cover. We use this for shipping. We put this on the driver and wrap it up in saran wrap so nothing gets punctured here. So let's drop that aside. And here is the lovely, lovely driver. It comes firmly, I might add, packed in foam and, uh, and a nice sturdy box. That is what they say, uh, Midnight Copper. Pretty good sized magnet. This is indeed cast aluminum. It's got aluminum ribs here that no Mark Audio driver I've ever seen have had. Um, Usually their drivers have a, I don't know, polymer or plastic uh, frame. This is really solid. It's super heavy. All their drivers come supplied with fasteners, screws. That's nice of them to do that. Um, so let's do some comparisons here between the CHR120, which we use in the Hero, and uh, Hero 6.5, and... Uh, the new Mark Audio driver. From the side, you can see there's a significant difference in the magnet, um, cone-wise. There's a pretty big difference here. Um, so we're gonna use it in a 45 liter cabinet, which is the same cabinet we use the CGR 120 in. It's a little bit oversized for this, but it makes a nice deep base. It's the perfect size for the Newmark Audio 8-inch driver. So we're going to put that in there today. Um, the hole's already been enlarged. We're going to drop it in. And we're going to make some recordings. We've already made recordings of the CHR120 and various genres. And we'll do the same genres, same cabinet, same air motion transformer sitting on top. because That's what that cabinet happens to have on it. So you can make a comparison audio-wise between this driver and this driver. I will say that the um, resonance frequency is very similar, so the port should remain pretty much the same. Um, but the cone is seriously larger, so it's going to move more air. So I'm expecting a deeper, more pronounced bass. People who have used it before have said that uh, it just sounds bigger. So, okay, we'll, we'll figure that one out. Um, one thing about the Mark Audio drivers I want to make a point of is, is that they use a curvilinear cone. So what's a curvilinear cone? Well, it's curved in a spe special parabolic shape. And what does that mean? 
that means that the sound is more precise, there's less delay from the highs to the lows, and it's about as close to flat as you're going to get, I'm thinking. It doesn't have a real deep pronounced dip in the center, so it doesn't have a whizzer at all. All this cone is reproducing all the high frequencies. The reason that they call this a multi-driver is because it can be used all the way out to 20 kilohertz, or it can be used in multi-way designs like a two-way speaker. Uh, Mark Audio finally decided that their drivers are also useful, useful as woofers are extended range drivers with the addition of a tweeter or horn. So that's what we've been doing for quite some time. He's finally got around to making this. Uh, why didn't he make a big driver before? He said this is the biggest one he could make because of manufacturing practices which have changed. Uh, this foil is really thin. If you put your fingernail on it, it'll crease it permanently. It's not much thicker than really heavy aluminum foil. So with that said, um, let's do the next chapter, which will be us making the recording. Thank you for watching.